Hi Libra, quick update, quick download. Um, I was dozing off on the couch and I had a dream about you guys and somebody was like confused. So I came in and I sat down and I just pulled out one Oracle deck and um, two cards flipped out for me, shape shifter and silence. So someone in your energy quickly changed form and now they're being really quiet. And I was like, oh shit. Okay. So I just did this cool love message for you guys last night. So like for new love or whatever. So I don't know if this is a new person or if it's a friend or family member or something like that. And I was like, let me pull out another Oracle deck. <laughs> fire in my soul inspiration. You can be dealing with a fire sign, trials of love, lessons, rose colored glasses, lip service. And I was like, oh no. <laughs> <clears throat> First thing I heard about rose tinted glasses was somebody is wondering if somebody else uses filters on their pictures, like they don't believe what they see with rose colored glasses and lip service. FYI, be really careful with all the Snapchat filters and Instagram filters. Um, a lot of people complain, a lot of my male clients and male friends complain that like, they don't believe anything they see on the dating sites because they meet people in real life. And you're like, okay, I guess online I met your Snapchat filter. <laughs> that was the first thing I heard. So I just wanted to mention that. But I think your person is just looking for inspiration and lessons sort of, I saw a line drawn through the card, uh, through the word of lesson, and I just saw trials. This person's just giving people a trial run don't put rose tinted glasses on this person. I think this person actually likes to put on rose tinted glasses. Like they're looking to see the thing that they want to see and lip service. So, and with lip service and silence, I saw a triangle being drawn between these three cards. Like I hallucinated. I was like, have I had enough coffee? What's going on? That this person said they were going to do something and now they're silent. Do leave them alone. Like, just let them come back to you if they're being silent. Don't chase after them and be like, hey, what's going on or whatever. Or if you do, just keep it really light. So it's like, okay, what's up with this energy? Show me tarot. And I got the three of wands, the hermit, the tower. So you could be dealing with a Virgo. I have a king of swords here and a king of wands and the devil. And I was like, oh, God, not again. <laughs> I mean, this doesn't apply to me at all. Of course, I don't date or whatever. But I feel like a lot of people get into scenarios with people that they meet. I feel like this is a new kind of thing for you guys, because I have the Ace of Cups here. Um, but it's one of those, I need to step back all of a sudden. So this person is being the hermit with you, they are withdrawn. And they're at a distance from you. And they're examining the full growth potential. They're not doing anything. The tower. So something happened between the two of you that surprised them. Maybe like meeting you surprised them or they're withdrawn and thinking about it because, whoa, this was unexpected. And then I have the seven of swords, the seven of wands and the two of cups. This person is shrinking back with the seven of swords and the seven of wands. All of a sudden, they feel the need to be strategic with you. Seven of Swords. And when I saw the Seven of Swords and Seven of Wands and Two of Cups, I saw like duck and weave like, oh, 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 I have to talk to them. Yeah, you have to freaking talk to my Libras. Ugh. <laughs> and they don't want to. Um, I think that they do feel a connection with you and it's freaking them out a little bit. Further, I was like, okay, show me a little more, please. Six of Wands, Nine of Wands. Ace of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, Two of Wands after the Ace of Wands. I said two more, please, Spirit, after the Ace of Cups. So Six of Wands, they're arrogant a bit. They want attention, but they're also guarded. I get the feeling this is, I keep seeing a dating app. I keep seeing somebody go into their email and go into the app. So, and also the Six of Wands to the Nine of Wands is, I see you seeing me and now I'm going to be all guarded. So I, I was, it was weird. I saw someone like seeing you online at the same time and they freaked out and like got offline real quick. 
correct me if I'm wrong. That's just what I saw. But also I saw like a bit of arrogance, like this person just wants attention or they don't just want attention. They want attention. They're kind of aloof with the six of wands. Um, and now they're guarded, but the Ace of Cups is here. Like, because the Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups is here, it's like, oh, there could be like a thing here. Eight of Pentacles, like maybe I'll just keep working on it. I'm keep, they keep working on it. And the Two of Wands, they're standing back. They have more than one choice. They're at kind of a crossroads. And I said, okay, Spirit, what's your advice? I was like, tell me about this person. They only wanted me to drop two cards, Seven of Pentacles to the King of Swords. This person is a bit uh, withdrawn. They um, are kind of cold and quiet. Not cold and quiet. I have the King of Wands and the King of Swords on the table. That's not the King of Cups or the King of Pentacles. The King of Swords and the King of Wands are bachelors. They don't want to really get into a relationship. The King of Wands loves attention, loves, loves, loves it. And um, but also will, you know, put himself out there. I'm going to spin it from the male perspective real quick. Bear with me, ladies, because we have some fantastic Libra brothers in this collective and also wonderful cross watchers that come in too. Are, that are dealing with a bullshit Libra. Let's make room for everybody here. Um, for my guys, for my masculine Libras, you're just moping and waiting. Or you're just like, okay, I'm going to stay in the present moment. The Seven of Pentacles is where we work in a garden. I'm going to wait to see if this person will work with me. And I'm not going to get all mopey and shit. I'm not going to king of cups this. I'm not going to put my heart on my sleeve. I'm going to stand back and examine the facts and stick to the truth. And you're going to be a little detached. Um, and for my masculines, <clears throat> I think you have a lot of desire for this person. I think you know you're hot and I think you know that you're a good catch. And maybe this chick has make you, made you kind of hung up and you're really anxious about communication with them now. And I had the three of cups at the bottom of the deck and the five of swords, which is, is it a third party situation? I want to be the winner. I want to get the girl or get the guy. <clears throat> but I said, show me this person. So I picked up on masculine energy here. Um, this person is just sort of standing there thinking about what they should do. And they're not going to show a lot of emotion. A king of swords um, represents authority. This person wants to be the one to stay in control. And with the tower here to the seven of swords and the seven of wands, they do not want to lose control. And the nine of wands, this is a person that wants to open up emotionally. They don't want to lose control. This person does not want to share all the facts with you either. I mean, if it's a brand new relationship or whatever, don't expect them to tell you their whole life story. I don't tell people my whole life story when I meet them. Shit, nobody can even find me on Facebook. So this person might be hiding a bit from you. I think they do feel a connection with you. They don't want to lose control. And they're wondering, how much work can I put into this? They are surveying the past a bit. Um, they are feeling it with you, but it's also like blowing their mind and they need to hide. When I saw the cards together, I could feel it. I'm like, they're hiding. <laughs> a bit with silence to shapeshifter and I said what's your advice page of swords the hangman the devil the king of wands and when I saw the devil and the king of wands that's when I was like not again <laughs> not again so this might be like the page of swords is you need to get all the facts someone is anxious about communication they're curious they want to know more but I want to see a page of cups not a page of swords so your guides are saying, you know, don't sign the dotted line until you get all the facts. Look at this from a different perspective. You're going to have to wait with this person to hear from them at all. They're going to make you hung up. The devil to the king of wands. That's a kind of a player energy. This does not mean they're a bad person. They might also have with the hermit here and the devil and the king of wands. I heard this in a whisper very faintly some of the, for some of you this person's a little older and they're not sure how it's going to be in the bedroom but um but the devil to the king of wands to the three of cups is 
you might be on a rotation with this person. There's a chance that you'll be the winner. Just get out of your head about it with the Eight of Swords in reverse. Also, this person might be a person that brings some drama into their life a little bit. Socially. Two of Pentacles is here as well with the Ten of Swords. So, and Justice. So when I saw lessons like trials of love, this could be a test. Okay, don't let anybody juggle you or keep yourself busy. Um, somebody could get hurt in this situation or somebody's already been hurt in this situation or this person has been hurt previously. If so, they got their justice for it. Okay, so yeah, one, two, you know what to do. Just see it from a different perspective. This person's gotten themselves into a situation maybe where they're feeling like, whoa, what do I do here? Um, be the high priestess or, and, uh, you know, listen to your intuition, you guys. And um, masculines or feminines, like I would, if you were expecting to hear from this person and then they shapeshifted, you know, and became silent. Uh, the recommendation from like the relationship counseling perspective is to just reach out to them one more time, very randomly, like, Hey, I was hoping to hear from you or, Hey, I hope it's going okay. Um, yeah. Hope to hear from you soon. Like keep it super light. Okay. Libra, that was your download for this morning. And I was like, eh, all right. Somebody needed to hear this. I hope it resonates with you. I hope it helps you. You know where to find me if you want a private reading. Uh, so I'm Chandra Tara, my other channel. I read for all 12 zodiac signs. Speaking of which, I got to get to the air signs. I'm not going to drop a reading over there for you guys. Maybe I'll do like some oracle cards over there on Soma Chandra Tarot. But uh, Gemini and Aquarius, our other air sign brothers and sisters, are going up over there today. All right, Libra, I'm always listening to the universe for you. Take care of yourselves. I really love you guys. I'll see you next time.